Imagine a world where the masses rise up, overthrowing their rulers and seeking to establish a new order. Does this sound familiar? You might be thinking about a recent political upheaval or a blockbuster movie plot, but this is not a fiction. It's the story of the French Revolution, a time of profound social and political change in France that lasted from 1789 until 1799. During the late 18th century, France was a nation on the brink. Struggling with financial crises and widespread social discontent, the seeds of revolution were being sown. The storming of the Bastille, a symbol of royal tyranny, lit the spark of revolution on July 14, 1789. This was the moment when ordinary citizens took a stand, and their actions led to the establishment of the National Assembly. The French Revolution was not a spontaneous event, it was the result of a buildup of social and economic pressures. What happens when fear and paranoia take hold of a revolution? This question brings us to a dark chapter of the French Revolution, known as the Reign of Terror. From the summer of 1793 to the summer of the following year, France was gripped by a wave of paranoia and radicalism. The revolution, once a beacon of hope for the oppressed, had turned into a frenzy of fear. The Reign of Terror was not just a period, it was a phenomenon, a manifestation of the extreme side of the revolution. Amidst the chaos, radical factions rose to power. The Committee of Public Safety, headed by Maximilien Robespierre, became the de facto government. They were the driving force behind the Reign of Terror, fueled by a belief that the revolution could only survive through the purge of its enemies. And so, the guillotine, an instrument of death, became a symbol of this era. It was hailed as the National Razor, and it claimed lives indiscriminately, from the poorest of peasants to the highest of nobility. The streets of Paris were stained with blood as the guillotine worked relentlessly, silencing any opposition with a swift and final stroke. One of the most significant events during this period was the execution of Louis XVI. Once the monarch of France, Louis was now a prisoner of the revolution. His execution in January of 1793 marked the end of more than a thousand years of continuous monarchy in France. It was a stark reminder of the power of the people, but also a chilling testament to the ruthless nature of the reign of terror. The reign of terror showed the darker side of the revolution, with thousands losing their lives in the name of liberty. Yet, it was a crucial part of the French Revolution, a period that shaped the course of history and left an indelible mark on the world. It was a time when fear and paranoia seized a revolution, turning ideals of liberty into a bloody purge, a time when the guillotine became a symbol of terror and a king was reduced to a common criminal. The reign of terror showed the darker side of the revolution, with thousands losing their lives in the name of liberty. How does a revolution lead to the rise of a new form of autocracy? This is where our story continues, with the rise of a man named Napoleon Bonaparte. In the wake of the French Revolution, the nation was left in political chaos and economic ruin. Out of this chaos, a young and ambitious military officer, Napoleon Bonaparte, emerged as a beacon of hope for a nation seeking stability. Napoleon was a man of exceptional strategic acumen, a natural leader, and a masterful self-promoter. He leveraged his military successes to rapidly rise through the ranks of the French army. By the late 1790s, Napoleon had seized political power in a coup d'etat, establishing himself as the first consul of France. The French, weary from years of political instability, welcomed this new form of government. Napoleon introduced reforms that stabilized the economy, reinstated civil law, and modernized the education system. These changes, together with his charismatic leadership, won him the trust and admiration of the French people. But Napoleon's ambition did not stop at being the first consul. He aspired to be more, to be an emperor. In 1804, Napoleon crowned himself Emperor of the French, claiming the divine right to rule. This was a sharp departure from the ideals of the French Revolution, which had sought to abolish monarchy and champion the rights of the common man. One might ask, how could the French people who had just overthrown a monarchy accept the crowning of a new emperor? It's essential to understand that Napoleon was a product of the revolution. He used the language and symbols of the revolution, presenting himself not as a monarch, but as the protector of the people's rights. His rule, though autocratic, brought a measure of stability and prosperity that had been sorely lacking in the years following the revolution. The rise of Napoleon showed that the revolution had not completely eradicated the desire for strong central leadership. Despite the revolution's radical changes, 
the French people still yearned for a leader who could bring order, stability, and prosperity. In Napoleon, they found such a leader. What are the lasting effects of a revolution that rocked a nation and changed the world? Let's delve into this question by exploring the profound impact of the French Revolution. This seismic event introduced concepts and principles that altered the fabric of human society, resonating far beyond the borders of France. One of the most significant impacts of the French Revolution was the spread of nationalism. This revolution was not just a revolt against a monarchy, but a unified uprising of a people asserting their collective identity. The French citizens' fight for their rights and freedom sparked a wave of nationalism that swept across Europe and beyond. This sense of national pride and unity continues to shape nations and their politics to this day. The French Revolution also heralded the rise of secularism. For centuries the church had held significant power influencing every aspect of life from politics to education. But the revolution challenged this formidable authority. The revolutionaries' bold endeavor to separate church and state laid the groundwork for secular societies, where religion is a personal choice rather than a state-imposed mandate. This shift towards secularism has played a crucial role in shaping modern societies, fostering diversity and tolerance. Moreover, the revolution marked the establishment of democracy. The French people's desire for liberty, equality and fraternity was a clarion call for a government by the people and for the people. The revolution led to the abolition of absolute monarchy and the rise of representative government. This radical shift in political power dynamics has had a profound influence on the formation and evolution of democratic societies worldwide. The French Revolution was not just a historical event, it was a catalyst for change, a beacon of hope for oppressed peoples, and a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. Its echoes are heard in every corner of the world where people stand up for their rights, demand justice, and strive for a better future. The French Revolution left a lasting legacy affecting not just France but the entire world. So, what can we learn from the French Revolution? As we delve into the final throes of our exploration, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discovered. The French Revolution, this monumental upheaval, was a testament to the will of the people, a response to oppressive monarchy and social inequality. It was a time when the common man, driven by the ideals of liberty, equality, and fraternity, dared to challenge the established norms and institutions. These ideals, however, were not without their contradictions. The Reign of Terror, a dark chapter in the Revolution, served as a stark reminder of how ideals can be twisted in the hands of radicalism. The pursuit of equality was marred by rampant violence and paranoia, showing us the dangerous precipice where the power of the people can turn into mob rule. Yet out of the ashes of the Reign of Terror rose Napoleon Bonaparte, a figure who symbolizes the paradox of the revolution itself. He was a beacon of stability in a time of chaos, yet his rule veered towards dictatorship, straying from the revolution's initial ideals. Napoleon's reign is a lesson in the complexities of power and the fine line between a savior and a tyrant. So what relevance does the French Revolution hold today? It serves as a timeless reminder of the potency of ideas and the power of collective action. It underscores the importance of questioning authority and striving for a more equitable society, but it also cautions us against the perils of unchecked power and the potential for ideals to be distorted when they are pushed to their extremes. In essence, the French Revolution is a powerful narrative of human resilience and aspiration, of our capacity for profound change, but also of the pitfalls that can accompany radical transformations. It's a story that continues to resonate encouraging us to reflect on our own societies, our own ideals, and the steps we take in our pursuit of them. The French Revolution was a pivotal moment in history, showing us the power of the people, the dangers of radicalism, and the enduring appeal of democracy. You might have some questions about the French Revolution, here are some common ones. Let's kick things off with a fundamental query. What caused the French Revolution? Well, the French Revolution was a result of a perfect storm of economic distress, social inequality, and political inefficiency. The growing population couldn't be supported by the stagnating economy, and the monarchy's extravagant spending didn't help matters either. Next up, why was the Reign of Terror significant? The Reign of Terror was a period of extreme violence and political paranoia during the French Revolution. The radical Jacobin government used revolutionary tribunals and the guillotine to suppress perceived enemies of the revolution, 
It was significant because it showed how revolutionary ideals could be corrupted, leading to tyranny and mass violence. We often hear, how did the French Revolution influence the world? The French Revolution had a profound global impact. It challenged the concept of absolute monarchy, introduced the idea of the people's sovereignty, and spread revolutionary principles of liberty, equality, and fraternity. These ideas influenced numerous revolutions around the world, including those in Latin America and Europe. A popular question is, what happened to Louis XVI during the French Revolution? Louis XVI, the last absolute monarch of France, was executed by guillotine in January 1793. His execution symbolized the end of the monarchy and the beginning of the radical phase of the revolution. And finally, who was Napoleon Bonaparte and how did he rise to power? Napoleon Bonaparte was a military genius who rose to power during the latter stages of the French Revolution. He capitalized on the disarray in France to seize power in a coup in 1899. He later declared himself emperor, marking the start of the Napoleonic era. The French Revolution is a complex topic but hopefully these answers have helped clear up some of your questions. In conclusion, the French Revolution was a complex, tumultuous period that reshaped France and the world. As we've journeyed through this captivating era, We've seen how it was a time of great upheaval, but also a time of profound change. We began with the spark of revolution, where the oppressed masses rose against the decadence of the monarchy, fueled by the winds of enlightenment thought and the unbearable weight of economic hardship. The fall of the Bastille was not just the fall of a prison, it symbolized the end of an era, the crumbling of an old order. Then, we delved into the reign of terror, a dark chapter marked by paranoia, and the swift blade of the guillotine. It was a time when the revolution consumed its own children, as Danton, Robespierre and countless others fell victim to the very force they had set in motion. Yet, amid the bloodshed, the foundation for a new society was being laid. From the ashes of the terror, we saw the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte. A military genius he seized power, declared himself emperor, and embarked on conquests that would alter the map of Europe. His rule, though autocratic, brought stability and implemented reforms that still impact France today. We then explored the impact of the French Revolution, which was not confined to France but reverberated around the world. It ushered in an age of nationalism, inspired revolutions elsewhere, and fundamentally challenged the divine right of kings. It was a beacon of hope for some and a warning signal for others. In perspective, the French Revolution was not a singular event, but a series of interconnected episodes that together shaped the course of history. It is a testament to the power of the people, to their ability to affect change, but it also serves as a stark reminder of the potential for chaos and violence when that power is unchecked. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the French Revolution. Until next time, keep exploring history.